Hi guys and welcome back. So I'm doing another review in Crazy Vape Cafe, which is in Enfield Town, and today I'm going to be looking at the Joytech um, E Grip 2, which they've brought out, and this thing comes with loads of accessories. So what we'll do is we'll fly down to the table, have a look what's in the box, and uh, go back up top, vape on it, and I'll let you know what it costs, uh, what I think, and um, yeah, you know where to get it, Crazy Vape. So I'll speak to you in a second. Okay, guys. So this is the Joytech. E Grip 2, this is the box and it comes in as it says new firmware version 4.03 and it comes with the notch coil or one notch coil in there as well. A nice looking box, nice looking unit on there. Uh, Joytech on the other side, um, E Grip 2, and then a few specs. Just get that in view for you. So as you can see, it comes with a good few parts, and then it comes in black, grey, gold, reds, whites, and silver. So these are a few, a few specs on the back. As you see, it's an 80 watts, and it comes in a range of colours. You've got lots of things in here. So you've got the warranty card, you've got the um, manual USB charger, um, atomizer adapter, two mouthpieces. Um, you've got RBA section, and it comes with a Clapton and SS316 coil, and a notch coil just there. So this is going to be like a mouth-to-lung hit. Um, let's open the box. So straight off is the unit. As you can see, this one is in black. Uh, we'll come back to the unit in a second let's just see what's in the box so as you can see that's the user manual fairly detailed just in there loads of bits for you lots of options lots of um, things that you can change on the unit like changing its LED colors and stuff like that um, warranty card and then just a little brief attention card on how to actually change the coil or fill up the coil and leave it for standing for about five minutes or so um, just so it can soak in and it gives you a little card just there um, what else do we have empty all this stuff out I think so this is the USB cable standard USB cable and these are the parts that come with it so this is the RBA section just here fairly easy to change I'm not sure how it will be to actually um, build a new coil for it that would be interesting or so that would be a whole new video I think on how to be rebuild that um, but as you said as I said this is just a first look um, this is the adapter piece you can actually take your top piece off of there um, and then slide that one in and screw it down and then that would be your uh, so you can put an RDA on there or whatever you fancy really a new tank uh, dripper anything like that so it gives you that option there um, also comes with as I said a few different coils um, fairly tight airflow in there I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that have a look yep there you go, so very tight airflow in those coils. As I said, this is a mouth to lung, more mouth to lung unit. Uh, so these are the bits that come in the actual kit. So you've got quite a few bits here. Um, it comes with the additional drip tip, which is just there. It's gonna be a, um, a lot smaller compared to the one that's on there. I know it's in black and it's very hard to see, um, but that's the drip tip just there. Um, that's just rolling off the table now. Then you've got three coils that it comes with as well. Um, and if you just look at the bottom there, if you, I can hold them up all together, you'll be able to see that. Uh, I will get that in shot. There you go. You can see the different um, airflows on how big they are or how small they are. Um, so yeah, I mean the coils would be a more direct um, mouth to lung but you would be able to get a lung hit out of obviously the uh, bigger coil just there I don't know what that is there let's just try and have a look let me take it off screen um, so that is the SS uh, 316 coil that's the one with the bigger airflow um, so those are the coils that it comes with as well you've actually got the airflow ring around the top piece so if you just it's just got a little bit of movement and that'll shut off your airflow um, and then open it up but you're not able to see so I can't actually show you any difference to know um, whether the airflow is open or closed but that's the unit um, so what I will do is put a coil in here um, and then we'll go back up top and I will vape on it and let you know what I think okay so we had a quick look at the e, was it the e-grip 2 just filled it up with juice got a uh, what coil we put in there 
1.5, so it's the tight draw, got the airflow wide open. Right, I'm getting a bit of gargling from it, a bit of spit back, but that's until the coil wears in. Not bad flavour, I'm getting, as I said, a bit of spit back adding to the flavour. Depends if you like that sort of thing. Um, but no, not a bad unit and quite a pretty unit as well. Feels nice in the hand, um, good quality, 21 milliamp. 2100 milliamp battery, so it'll last you quite a bit of time, especially on these coils. Not a bad little unit, definitely a nice little starter kit considering how many extras it comes with. It'll definitely give you a kickstart to um, the whole vaping game if you want to go further, that is, or if you want to just stick with that just to quit those cigarettes, and that's still. You know, it does its job definitely. Anyway, that was a quick review or quick look at the E Grip 2 and uh, available at Crazy Vapes. Don't forget, come down and uh, hit Tony up. He's the man down here, apparently. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'll see you soon. Take care.